guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Katie and today's video is highly highly requested and it is all about my hair so I get this asked all the time and it is how I style my hair into these natural beachy waves so I've been doing this hairstyle for quite a while now and it's actually my go-to hairstyle I probably style my hair like this 90% of the time so it really needs to be quick and easy for me to do this all the time almost every day so all you need is a one tool and about 15 to 20 minutes of your time so it's super easy and quick I find that this hairstyle works best on this hair length or even longer if you have a similar hair length as me I would definitely give this a try so I hope you guys enjoy this and let's jump right into it so this is my hair unstyled so I showered last night and then I blow dried it and I slept over my hair so this is what it looks like um, this morning I have nothing in my hair it's not styled at all um, for my hair style I do ask for long layers in my hair so I did already style my bangs and I'll do a separate video on how I achieve my curtain bangs so for now I'll just show you guys how I style my hair so to achieve my beachy waves I use this curling iron and this is from Conair this is super old I feel like it's probably 10 15 years old um, I should probably change it but whatever so this one I had gotten from like the drugstore I believe and I think this is a one and a half inch barrel and it does have the clamp and it is important to have a curling iron with a clamp for this kind of look um, and I just put it at the max temperature which is I don't know 35 um, so yeah, that's what I use. And to prep my hair, I'm gonna use this spray. This is the Siri Expert Repair 10-in-1 Perfecting Multi-Purpose Spray for Damaged Hair. So this is just a spray that I use um, before styling my hair. Um, so it is 10-in-1 and it does have heat protection. So I'm gonna spray this all over my hair to prep my hair. So for this hairstyle, because it's like a natural, everyday, beachy look, I do not separate my hair. I kind of go in with random sections to make it look more natural. So I just do one side at a time. And like I said, I don't separate it. So I just take random sections and then I go all over my head curling my hair. And then I find that that creates a more natural, everyday look. So that's just what works for me. So now that the iron is hot, I'm going to go in and um, start curling my hair. So I like to start with the front pieces first. So like I said, I take a random section. So I take about um, this much hair every time, which is, I don't know, like half an inch to an inch of hair. And I always curl in the same direction, which is outwards. And I curl my whole head in the same direction. So no, I don't do the whole inward, outward, and like different direction every time. I know a lot of people like to do that to create more volume. Personally, for me, I find that it doesn't really look that good with my hair um, whenever I did that. So my trick is to curl my hair in the same direction with every single hair strand. So like I said, we'll start with the front piece. So I open the clamp here and I'll insert my hair in it. I'll twist over once, just like this. And I let it sit for about seven seconds. I remember seeing a Jen Atkin video and she said that seven seconds was the best. And then once I waited seven seconds, I let go of that curl and it's still clamped. And then I curl the rest of my hair just like this, the bottom part. And I also wait another seven seconds. So four, five, six, seven. And then I let it go. So this is the curl that I get. I don't touch it, I leave it for now. And then after I've done my whole head, I'll go in and separate the curls to make it look more natural. So I keep going like this. So I take another little piece. And like I said, it's very random. So you kind of just do this with your whole head. So I did one curl, I let it sit for seven seconds. I let go of that curl and my hair is still clamped and I go to the bottom and I curl it once more. 
If you have longer hair than me, you can do this like three times. Because my hair is like more of like a mid-length, I do one curl on top and then one curl at the bottom and then I let go. But if your hair was longer, you can keep doing the same pattern, keep going like this until you reach the end of your hair. So I'll do another one to show you guys. So there you go. So as you can see, all the curls are going in the same direction and that's exactly what I want. And I also start about um, eye level for my first curl. I find that that looks the best. I don't like to start too high. And then if I start too low, then it doesn't really um, work that well. So I like to start at my eye level. I do one curl and then the last curl is at the bottom of my hair. So I'll keep going like this. So now I've done um, half of my hair, so this is what it looks like. Obviously it looks like pretty bad right now because everything is like in one clump. But like I said, I'll separate all of my hair at the very end. So now I'm letting the curls cool down in this position. I'm not touching them. And as you could tell, I really went in with like random sections. So I usually go in with the top, then I'll go in with the bottom. If you want to separate your hair, by all means, go for it. I know if you have longer hair, it's probably easier as well to separate it um, instead of just going with random sections. So now I have the other half to do. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys what I do at the very end. Okay, so now that everything has been curled, this is what it looks like. So like I said, it looks pretty bad because everything is bundled up together, but I'm gonna use my hands to separate my curls. So I really just go in and run my hands through my curls to separate them. So this is what it looks like once I've run my hands through my head. So it already looks pretty good, um, but I'm gonna go back in on some areas, especially on top here to create a little bit more volume so that flows better in my opinion. So once you've separated all the curls, you can see which ones are not holding up um, as well. So you can go back in and curl those ones. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go in on little sections, especially on the top, to give more volume and more um, definition and texture. Um, and then once I'm done, uh, that's pretty much it. So I go in with the same technique. I curl it once and then I let it go and I curl it again. So I'm just gonna give a little bit more volume in the top sections. So now that I've gone a second time, I'm just gonna separate those curls again.
And the very, very last step to lock in my curls, I use a texturizing hairspray. So this is the hairspray that I use. This one is from Way, and this is the texturizing hairspray. It smells so good. And this is what I use to lock in my curls. I really don't like crunchy curls, so I don't use hairspray usually on my um, ends here on my hair. I use hairspray for my bangs, but for my curls, I like to use texturizing hairspray. So I just shake it up and I kind of just lift my hair and put the texturizing hairspray between the layers so that it gives more volume. So this is what it looks like. So as you can tell, there's a lot of volume, a lot of texture. I kind of just go in and tame that a little bit. But yeah guys, this is it. This is how I achieve my everyday um, beachy waves or curls. And it's such an easy technique. This is what I use every single time and it's foolproof every single time. I always get the same type of curls and I find that this looks the best on me, especially if you have curtain bangs. I highly recommend doing this technique. And honestly, all in all, this probably takes you about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the length of your hair. But for me, it takes me about 20 minutes to achieve this look. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And like I said, I'll be doing a separate video on how I achieve my curtain bangs. So please watch out for that. As always, if you've liked this, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.